No word on that investment deal yet. I can't seem to get that guy to call me back, but hopefully he's just too busy with the project. King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, 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 King all the kids with the iPod jerseys on gave Rose 35 cuz I had mercy for Yo, what's going on y'all? I just want to tell you guys something real quick. A lot of people have been hitting me up on Twitter and Facebook lately telling me why don't I tweet them back when they like my videos and stuff like that. It's probably because your settings are not right with YouTube. Ever since the Google Plus integration, a lot of people have lost their social site link and uh, to their YouTube account. So just go to youtube.com slash account sharing. Make sure that your Facebook and your Twitter account is linked up. So when you like my videos, I can hit you back on the social sites. All right, let's hop into this video, y'all. First of all, y'all already know I'm going up against the Cavaliers. But what y'all don't know is I'm trying to break a little record today. Now, there's two records that are involved in this video. The first record is me winning a game without scoring. The second record is me trying to get the single game assist record for the NBA itself. Now, as Gordon hits that three with the slowest shot in the NBA I've ever seen, 2K, you guys really need to upgrade his shot. It is way too slow. <laughs> but um, basically, I'm trying to set the tone. And since I have Kyrie Irving on me, He's kind of, how should I say, overzealous. The way that Kyrie Irving bees me up is ridiculous. Like, it's all pressure. He never sags off. And I guess you could say it's because my jump shot is cash. But in this game, I don't have any intention of taking any jump shots. It's going to be dom after dom after dom. Check out this alley-oop, by the way. Also, shout out to the person that hit me up on Twitter and said, hey, Yo, iPod, why don't you throw any alley-oops? What's wrong with you? What you want to know, the button configuration? Well, I will start throwing alley-oops more often. It's just, you know, sometimes, man, when you throw those alley-oops, dudes just be jumping out of nowhere. And, you know, the ball just hit off their hands and magically go out of bounds or something like that. And I really don't like that. But check me out passing it over to Bellinelli for the two. Now, with Bellinelli, I will have to say this. This dude can shoot, man, like threes, twos, mid-range, close. Oh, my God. It's just crazy how he can make all these buckets. Now, I wish he would get more minutes as I get those cookies right there, but it ain't nothing that I could really do. But did you guys see the between-the-leg pass I just did? Now, that could have been an NBA 2K14's top five plays, but, you know, they ain't going to give it to me, man. You know, I might submit something to LD and them. You never know. But we're about to hop into the last play. I'm going to show y'all before the half. I know y'all like, before the half, it's only eight and a half minutes left in the game. But I got the cookies. We on the break. Now, you already know how I like to do things. Give it off to the brow. You already know what time it is, man. Three-point play. The brow is snapping out. Do you see his neck? Like, I don't know how he didn't get whiplash there. But I'm going to let you see this replay real quick. See how pissed Deion Waiters is, how hype he is. But let's get into halftime, y'all. Now, since it's halftime, it's 58 to 43. We are putting a beating on these dudes. Andrew Bynum, I don't know what he's doing, to tell you the truth. But what I wanted to do is I actually want to show you guys this halftime because I really didn't show many clips in the first half. Also, I have to talk to you guys about something real, real quick. Sports commentator March Madness. I know a lot of people have so many questions about sports commentator March Madness. What I can tell you guys is we do have the bracket completely done. We have not started the selection process yet. I am still talking to the sponsors. We have a month and some change to get all of this worked out. But what I want to tell you guys is it's going to be hosted on Game Face Studios YouTube channel. So you want to go inside of the about section, click the link to their channel and subscribe. What's going to happen is we are going to start taking admissions February 1st. So this right here is like an early access to all the people that's not going to be waiting for the announcement. If you watch my videos and you support the sports community, you definitely want to, you know, Get your content right, get a video done, submit the video. I'm going to give you guys all the instructions inside the about section. It's going to be like in a paragraph under the title. So definitely check that out. Submit your video starting February 1st. Don't submit um, before February 1st because we're not going to look at any messages before that time. All right. 
But we're about to hop into the third quarter. Let's get back into it, man. Let's see if I can break this assist record and not score. <laughs> All right, let's be clear. It's so hard for me not to drive to the bucket and score, y'all. I'm trying my hardest to just keep passing the ball, keep giving it to my guys, and our lead just keeps growing. Like, every time I pass to somebody, they're either getting a three-point play or a three-pointer. Things are looking up and up for us right now. Now, I'm not going to show y'all Steve's my free throw because maybe he missed. You never know. You never know. But like I was saying... Every time that I pass the ball, I'm looking for the optimal assist, you know, more points to put on the board, and I'm playing great defense. Plus, yeah, there is a plus. I do have the star symbol under my name now, but I am not a 99 overall, guys. I am a 86 or an 87 overall. The reason why I have raised my overall, all I did was bump up like my defensive awareness and a few other things as we check out the assist of the game. But the reason why I upgraded my players because I was at the park, right? No, not the park in real life, the park on the game. And I was playing up a, against a bunch of 99s and we were getting our asses handed to us. Like these dudes was coming out doing between the leg alley you passes like real like real stuff like i mean like stuff you wouldn't even see at like uh god darn and one event like it was crazy so i'm like yo how are they doing all these moves and i'm like something ain't right so i, I went in upgraded my player a little bit put up his passing i did add flashy passes signature skill to my guy as well because i want to throw some flashy passes i'm sorry man i i, I need i need it in my life flashy passing is what i do i drop doms you know i'm saying so hey what, what's the problem what the lick be but uh, right now I have 20 assists, 7 rebounds. I do have 4 fouls. I am playing, you know, tight defense. And dudes are just running right past me. Also, oh man, I almost forgot to tell y'all. I got somewhat of a... I don't want to say glitch. I don't want to say exploit. But don't you know how the computer always runs by you while you're playing defense? It seems like you can never keep him in front of you. But he bumps you every time you run into him. Well, I got something that can counteract that. When you're playing on offense, right, and you come down the court, all you have to do is run past or through the defender without turbo. If you engage turbo before you start making your movements, that's when he bumps you. But if you just go to the defender without turbo and then you press turbo once you collide or like right, right past him, you blow past him every single time. It's crazy how I was doing it. I like I could have scored probably 200 points in this one game that I was playing by just coming down, calling clear out, and just running right through him the whole time. Like it was crazy. It was crazy. But did anybody see that tenth rebound I just grabbed? That's a double double, by the way, without scoring. Yeah, I did that. That was me. Um. Also, let me tell you guys, Drew Holiday, he was trying to take the show. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Because since I don't have any points, I know that people are probably asking, why Why aren't you putting up no points, your ass? What's up with you? I'm trying to go for this assist record, and Drew Holiday is really racking in on the points because I'm not scoring at all. You know, I threw a few alley-oops. Um, I gave him a couple three-point shots, and he was nailing everything. I guess, you know, hopefully when I'm doing bad, my teammates do have that point of emphasis thing to step up to the plate and score more. But right now the score is 109 to 95 with a minute left. And this is the type of stuff that happens with late in the game. Now, yeah, I should have threw the alley-oop to Eric Gordon, but I didn't want to take no chances. So, you know, I've already broken the assist record. The game is now over. It's 113 to 97. We came out, got the win. Things are looking up and up. Bennett, oh man, did y'all see Gary Payton's interview about Anthony Bennett? Like, yo, that interview was where he was like, yo, you came into the league, you should have been league ready. You know what I'm saying? You came in overweight, now you're fat. Like, he he was just coming there, he was like, listen to a Hall of Famer, boy. Listen to a Hall of Famer. I was cracking up. But this is IKC signing out. We about to hop into this press conference. Don't forget to link your social sites to YouTube, and don't forget to like the video. It was a huge game for you in terms of assists. That was an incredible passing display. My question is this, is this the kind of game that you strive for or did it just happen? I mean, the thing is, I don't understand why your question wasn't how does it feel to surpass some of the greats and assists like Scott Skiles. Like, come on, dude, what's wrong with you? This game just kind of happened. That's how it is when you're a natural playmaker like me. You come up the floor and do your thing. And then all of a sudden, the assists start piling up. 
The guys on my team know that as long as they get out of the way and get to where they can knock down their shots, our offense will be clicking and we'll get the win. No planning necessary, man. Just let me be me. Yeah, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.